Good morning, friends. Derek Doherty here. Hope you're having a great day in the Lord. Welcome to the Daily Devotional. We're going through Summer in the Psalms today. We're encouraged to read Psalm 83 and 84. 84 is going to be used this Sunday during worship, so we're going to be looking at Psalm 83 right now during the Daily Devotional. For Psalm 83, I'd like us to focus in on the first verse and the last verse. I'd also like to ask the question of, have you ever felt that, come on God, it's time for you to step up? Not for me, but for your own sake, O oh Lord our God. Psalm 83, verse 1 and verse 18. O oh God, do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear. Do not stand aloof, O oh God. Verse 18. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. Amen and Amen. What I'd like to point out here, friends, is that the psalmist is asking God to step up. <laughs> the psalmist is saying to God, Hey God, don't you see what people are saying about you? Don't you see that people are conspiring to blot your people off the earth? Oh, and I'm part of that, God. Don't you care, God, that people are making fun of you? And friends, we may feel this way. We may feel this way when society seems to be going a different direction than God. We may feel this way when, when we share our faith and people just completely ignore. We may feel this way when people are using the Lord's name in vain. And it's interesting, Psalm 83 verse 1, O oh God, do not remain silent, don't turn a deaf ear, do not stand aloof, O oh God. Friends. God doesn't have to prove God's self to anyone, period, exclamation mark. God is the one who created everything. It would be like, an, it would be like us having to go to an itty-bitty ant and explaining our existence, explaining why we are doing what we're doing to an itty-bitty ant. Or, if you want to get even uh, more, one of those little gnats. God is God is God. God is the creator. We are part of the creation. God does not need to defend God's self against us. Because God is so much bigger, vaster, and so much more knowledgeable, and so much more amazing than we are. I promise you, friends, God's got it figured out. May we just try to run fast enough so that we can keep up with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, we give you thanks that you are God and you are God alone. We give you thanks that you do not need defending, that you do not need to come down here and state your case, that you do not need our approval. Lord, we're humbled by the fact that you have called us to be used in your salvation story, that you have called us to feed the hungry and clothe the naked and visit the sick, that you've called us to share good news. You don't need us, God, but you choose to use us. Thank you. We thank you that you are vast enough and strong enough, wide enough and deep enough, that you don't need to defend yourself to any single human being. But you choose to be in relationship with us. And you choose to reveal yourself to us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In your holy and wonderful name we pray, O Lord our God. Amen. Peace and God's blessings, friends. Have a great day. Bye for now.